So in this particular demonstration, we're going to be looking at filtering the data, which allows us to look at particular subsets of the data so that we can perhaps do some further analysis. So the filters command is, is located on the data tab, clicking on data up here, and then we can see this filter. So we press on filter and let's just see what happens. Notice that what comes up is a whole lot of drop down menus associated with each of the variables. So let's have a look at what that allows us to do. If we click on the sector drop down, it allows us to filter and see all the observations from one to six in terms of the number of sectors. And what I can do is just focus on those in sector two. So let's click on that, press OK. Notice now the data that's showing is only those in sector two. And we know that uh, the filter's been applied because on the left hand side, notice all the uh, rows don't go from um, in equal increments, they're all over the shop. And they've got these blue, they're in blue. And it's showing only 60 of the 380 records. That is, only those observations in sector 2. And what I'm going to do with that data is I want to focus on it a bit more. I'm going to select the data. And I'm going to insert a worksheet. And I'm going to move this data into a new spreadsheet. And notice it's only those observations in which the employment position is from sector 2. So it's only a small uh, 60 number, of 60 observations altogether. Let's apply the filter again and see what else we can do with the filter command. So we select that first row, press on filter, and we can see that uh, the uh, arrows have appeared. And let's say that we want to focus on starting salaries being between a certain range. So with the starting salaries, we can use a number filter and say, let's focus on those uh, starting salaries that are greater than or equal to a certain amount. So we press, press on the greater than or equal to amount. And let's say that we want to focus on the greater than or equal to $50,000. Let's press on that. And let's say that we want it to be also those salaries that are, are less than $60,000. So we're looking at the starting salaries from sector two between $50,000 and $60,000 and the filter's been applied, you can see in the blue there. So starting salaries are between $50,000 and $60,000. We've lost all the people who had starting salaries of $30,000, $40,000 or $70,000 and we're only focusing on sector two. So notice that the uh, filter is, is staying there. So let's take that filter off. We can just press filter again and then press it back. So that filter's been taken off. Let's say another way is to focus on a particular observation. If I click on position ID, let's say I'm, I'm particularly interested in position 83,429. It's something that I may have looked up and I want to look at in further detail. So let's press on that. And we can see it only brings up that position where the criteria is being met and it's only that observation. So that's another way of doing filtering. What we need to be wary of when we're doing filtering is that the filterings are being applied at uh, at multiple on multiple variables so let's say that we did do that filtering with the um, greater than fifty thousand dollars and let's say that we want to look at those with experience less than three years so three years or less notice that the filter is applying to both the variables at the same time so it's both those starting salaries that are more than 50,000 and with those uh, positions that have three or less years of experience. And we have to be careful that those are being applied at the same time. If we wanted to look at all the positions associated with being less than, uh, having experience of less than three years or less, is that we have to select all those starting salaries. And notice that brings us a lot more observations than we originally had. The other nice thing about um, filtering is that it allows us to delete data as well that we might want to not have in the data set. So let's say that we did want to exclude uh, any position which a manager uh, was mentioned in the description. So let's press on the user manager being equal to one only. So now we're only looking at those positions that had a manager involved. And what we can do is we can select those rows right click and press delete row 
and they're going to be excluded from the data. So now we're just excluding anyone who had a position where the user manager was equal to one. We delete that. We originally had 60 records. We're deleting those 23 and let's just put that filter back on. Notice we now have no one who has a position description involving the word manager. So let's see what we've got left over is only those positions that did not use the word manager from sector two. So now we only have a handful of observations to deal with. So we need to be careful about when we're filtering the data that uh, if we do delete the uh, observations from the subset that uh, we can't get those observations back. So as a recommendation, I always like to keep the, the original data available so that I can always go back to it in case I made a mistake with the filter and unfilter it and start again.